Peace and blessings. Good morning. It is Tuesday and I am going to be on my way to work. We are not seeing any patients anymore. Um, all of the appointments have been converted to telephone appointments except those that basically it's called like a prenatal new prenatal visit that just found out that they are pregnant um and of course those that are almost about to deliver so i normally work 9 30 to 6 and my manager said that i'm allowed to come for the rest of this week 9 to 5 30. And today and through the course of this day with leaders in industry around the country reflects that we're not only bringing the full... It's Wednesday, March 18, 2020. I am not going to go to work today. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel very iffy about everything that's going on. At the end of the day, this is kind of like a waiting game, but yeah, I won't be going to work today. I will be going tomorrow. So my husband just got back from getting groceries. I'm gonna go. Some halal lay quarters, a whole box of this. Um, so we can have some chicken at least. Got some dish detergent, some pomegranate juice, some carrots. Here you go, about this more. So here we have some halal turkey, some more cheese, some more and cheese over sandwich. here, some, really good some nun bread here, mm -hmm. garlic nun. Some strawberries here. Some more garlic nun bread. Sesame seed hamburger buns because we got also halal ground turkey. Some French deli rolls and some hot dogs. So hot dog buns. Um, here we have some Crisco pure vegetable oil. Two apple juices down here from Costco. We have some romaine lettuce here. Um, sparkling water, regular water, Gatorades. We're sending, uh, upon request, the two hospital no, ships, the white ships with the red cross on the sides. What is called the So I just packed, pre-packed everything that we might need. Chicken on this column there, cheese, mozzarella, and cheddar, turkey, and halal pastrami. Um, there's some pepperoni over there and some halal salami. Halal, halal. And now I'm gonna uh, put the bread in here. Now I've added our bread, hot dog buns, other bread over here. We also have a bunch of stuff in here. This is just super ridiculous. We have so much salmon, more hot dog bread. So this is the stuff that's a little bit older that we've had. We don't want to put this in the other freezer. We want to save that stuff, preserve that. But yeah, and then we still need to get chicken wings. So this is what the coronavirus has done to us. Restocking on a lot of bread and cheese and like smoked meat and stuff like that. So it is lunchtime, and like I said, I did not go to work earlier, so I'm hungry, and I'm gonna dig in that fridge and see what I can I eat. Do. So I'm gonna turn this into a delicious vegetarian meal. I had leftover sour cream, vegetarian beans, chips there, some nacho cheese. This was just bought like the other day, but I'm gonna use it as well. Every single building checkpoint. 
points and and safety measures to see if a person is afflicted or not. Uh, and other countries also have implemented this. Do you hear about the coronavirus? You did? Hey! Watch out! Get out of my house! Three feet away! The coronavirus is out! So today has been a very interesting day. I've been watching a lot of news and just news in general like all around the world. My mother-in-law has been watching Moroccan news YouTube channels like Shouf TV and we've been seeing just things that are going around in Italy and Spain, here in California and the US. It's just pretty scary. Um, I have run across a few videos of young adults that are still partying and are being very inconsiderate others and are still out there in crowds. Luckily here in California, especially in the Bay Area, they have um, said that no one is to go out unless you're going to the grocery store or picking up an item or going to work. There are a few restaurants that are open and you can... Um, go get some takeout but for the most part I've drove past a few today because we had to go get a few groceries and most of them were closed like I said we did step out, step out earlier and grabbed a few things and I clearly see everyone truly respecting the rules and I could literally count the people that I saw in like my two hands so there was like seven to eight people out not many people so that is actually amazing news I was really proud like yeah we're taking this serious because it is a serious thing but yeah so i just been home tomorrow i do have to go to work like i said earlier i work in a small healthcare facility in the OBGYN department and we're not going to be seeing patients unless it's necessary um hopefully it does stay that way and yeah my children don't have school so they will be here with their grandma playing video games doing homework and just staying in the house my children actually have not stepped out at all since last friday and i kind of want to keep it that way but yeah so you know deaths are just rising not many but there have been like maybe nine deaths here in santa clara county and you know it's really sad i'm sure it must be really really hard for those who are losing families and you know they have to isolate themselves and to have to you know pass away alone and just I don't know oh only God knows right um but yeah so I am heading off to bed I do have to go to work tomorrow you know gotta go out there in the world and work healthcare companies are not closing I'll tell you that for sure I just hope that you know we you know, a lot of doctors have children that study overseas and stuff or like in Europe or Spain. And I hope that everyone who did fly back um, are respecting the rules that if you have a family member that is positive or is having symptoms that you don't show up at work. And I'm really expecting that from, you know, co-workers, from doctors to medical assistants and nurses at my job. Well, I hope that everyone is well and don't forget to wash your hands. Peace. See you later. If you made it this far, don't be scared to join the sisterhood. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and go ahead and share my videos with other sisters who you might think will enjoy this kind of content. Peace and blessings and hope to see you in the next video. My videos are super random. I know I can't help it.